Hello everyone, I'm Alexandra, also known as Chaos Child, and in this tutorial I will be showing you how to clean up scanned line art. Just a couple of things before we get started. The image I will be working with today is pencil that has been inked and then erased. So while this will work for pencil, it will not look exactly the same, so just fair warning. Uh, before you use your scanner, you should use the booklet that came with it to know all you can about it because every scanner is different. You should be able to scan directly with your scanner. You should also be able to import it with Photoshop. If you'd like to import it, you go to File, Import, and WIA Support. WIA Support will prompt Photoshop to try and find your scanner and attempt to activate the program from there. Uh, it is recommended that your scanner be plugged into your computer and on before you open up Photoshop or the program may not be able to find it. Again, each one's different. I do recommend reading your handbook. I also recommend scanning as close to 900 dpi as possible. 900 dpi will give you a lot more area to work with and it will end up with a nice, crisp, clear, highly detailed image when you're done. If your scanner is like mine and won't quite reach 900, that's alright, we can change it manually and that will be the first step in this tutorial. First, we will go up to image and then we will select image size. The canvas size underneath it will change the workable area and not the image. The image size option will change the image as a whole, and that's the one we will go through. We are going to go down to the resolution box, and we are going to change it from my scanner's 600 to 900. As you can see in the preview, the image is a little bit blurry, but that's okay. We're going to fix that in a moment, so it won't last long. We're going to say okay and wait for it to render. Now that we have our nice, gigantic image, our next step is to remove the color. As you can see, this isn't entirely grayscale. There's a little bit of a pink hue to this, which comes from scanning a piece of paper that's not entirely white, despite what the packaging may say. So we're going to go up to Image again, and now to Adjustments. We are going to select Hue and Saturation. We will go to the Saturation slider, and we are going to turn it all the way down to minus 100. And then you're going to click OK and let it render. Now as you can see this image has been pushed to grayscale, so we won't have any bright pinks or blues or any other color popping up as we try to clean this up. Now we're going to try and get rid of some of these smudges. If I zoom in you can see that there looks to be a little bit of pencil lead smeared, a few places where you can see a bit of pencil that didn't quite disappear, and a bit of a paper texture. So we're going to go up to our image, to adjustments, and then brightness and contrast. We're going to click the use legacy button. If you have an older version of Photoshop, this will be on by default and you will not see a button. What legacy will do is rather than, if we uncheck it, wash everything with a white or a black, it will instead push a pixel either up or down uh, in value so that we get to keep our image or more of our lines than we would have otherwise. You should nudge the brightness up just a little bit at a time until most of your smudges are gone and then we'll increase the contrast along with it which will help push our lines up so we don't lose them. It's alright if you have to fiddle with this for a little bit. Every image is different and you may want to shift it to taste. Once you're satisfied with how your image looks, you'll click OK and wait for it to render. Our final step is we will go to image once more, to adjustments, and then to threshold. Threshold forces pixels, as you can see, into either stark black or stark white. Much like with the brightness contrast slider, you'll nudge it just a little bit in either direction. You'll notice that if you pull it too far forward, your lines will begin to bleed into one another. If you pull it too far back, your image is going to start to disappear. You may find that you actually don't need to nudge it very much at all. And you should really just do it so that you can make sure that as much of your lines are preserved as possible. When you're satisfied with how it looks, you click OK and let it render. Now that your lines have mostly been cleaned and cleared, you can go set about fixing things manually if you would like to. Unfortunately, sometimes when you scan things, things get lost. So it's almost inevitable that you will have to do this. You can do things such as complete lines, like so, 
that got lost during the scanning process. Or you can erase lines that were perhaps ink smudges, little messes that were on the scanner, or even just errors that have popped up on their own. And that's about it. I hope that this tutorial was helpful, and I hope that I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Like what you see? Then please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you!